Hey guys, it's Kath. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you a quick tutorial on this glam look that's perfect for the fall. I've really been loving halo eye looks lately, so here's an easy one for you to try out. So starting with bare skin, I'm just going to prep my skin using the Bare Minerals Climate Control Primer, which is one of my faves. Then taking my Bobbi Brown Foundation in the shade Warm Honey and just applying that all over with my beauty sponge. For concealer, I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics 24 Hour Concealer in the shade A78 and putting that on all the high points of my face. So under eyes, forehead, nose, cupid's bow, and chin, then patting that in with my beauty sponge. I didn't want to get makeup on my nails, which is why I'm using a wipe, so don't mind that. <laughs> now I'm setting those same areas with my e.l.f. Cosmetics Beauty Shield setting power to lock that in place. This will help prevent me from getting oily and also any creasing, so I make sure to put that all over, especially on those smile lines. Now for brows, I'm using my Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Pencil in the shade 3.5, just shaping out my brows and filling them in, making sure to take my time. To clean them up, I just take any concealer in a few shades lighter, shape it out and blend it in, and then I'll take a concealer about my same shade as my foundation to clean up the top so that blends in nicely. Now I take my Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang Mascara to lightly dust over my brow hairs to give them extra definition. Now let's get into these eyes. I'm taking the Everyday Palette from Mented Cosmetics and with this first shade I'm just going to start blending into the crease and shaping out the look. Now going in with the second shade I'm just building up that transition color to get some dimension in the crease. Then I'm going to take the maroon shade and I'm just patting that onto my lid just mainly focusing on the inner and outer corners. I want to get the color as deep as possible but making sure the blending is seamless. So I took some of the first two transition shades to help blend all three colors together. And with any eyeshadow look the key is to just keep on blending. Blend till your wrists hurt and then blend a little more. <laughs> Now I'm taking my Kula setting spray and lightly spritzing my brush so when we pick up this beautiful gold shade, it's super pigmented. Look how gorgeous! Now I'm just dabbing this in the middle of my lid but making sure not to go above my crease. Take more of the maroon shade to blend everything out nicely. Now I still want more of a pop of glitter so I'm taking the Hourglass Glitter Foil in Scattered Light and look at what a difference that makes. For liner, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner and just winging it out. This felt tip liner makes it so easy to get clean, precise lines. My eyes tend to water a lot, so I always set my eyeliner with black eyeshadow, and this helps prevent it from smudging. Now just taking the same shadows we use and blending it out on the bottom lash line, then adding white liner to my waterline, and then applying mascara. For lashes, I'm taking my gorgeous Tati Lashes in the style TL10 and a little trick is to apply lash glue to both the lashes and your actual lash line. This literally helps the lashes stay on all day through tears, wind and everything. <laughs> now I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby Highlighter and applying it to the brow bone and inner corners of my eyes. And for bronzer, I'm just going to use one of my faves, the Hula Bronzer from Benefit and just carving out those cheekbones and applying some to my hairline and chin as well. Also from Benefit, we're going in with a California blush to bring back a little rosy touch to the skin and then going back in with the Hustle Baby highlighter for the ultimate glow. Setting the look with a Kula setting spray and finishing off with the lips. I'm taking the Mented Cosmetics Dope Lip Liner and completely filling in my lips and then topping it off with the Mauve Lip Gloss. And just like that, we are done. I wanted to make this a really quick, easy tutorial for you guys, and I hope it was helpful. If you guys recreate this look, share it on Instagram, and make sure you tag me at Catherine Celeste. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much, guys. Be blessed.